Hey guys, it's RWS, yes, we're bringing us our week 2 team builder uh, for the uh, UBC offseason. Um, this week we are bringing some Bronson of the Portland Polywags. His team is, as you can see, Zygarde, 50% as Zemon, uh, Tojikus, Alamomola, Oxy, Ditto, Electabuzz, Magirna as a Zemon, Mega Gengar, Hippowdon, and Hariyama. Um, first thing I see while looking at his team is Mega Z uh, not Mega Zygarde, the yeah, Mega Gengar plus Zygarde is super good against my team. Like, um, Zygarde just does so much damage against everything. I, like, it two shots everything except for Fortress. Um, and I mean, I guess if he wants to bring, like, I mean, Zygarde doesn't really have that good of a special attack, so I mean, he might bring a hidden power of fire. Uh, but I don't, I don't really see him doing that. I mean, he might, because that, like, literally Fortress is the only mod that can take anything from that from Zygarde. Um, but anyways, I, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll get to Zygarde and Fortress later. But, um, looking at his team, pretty, once Magirna and Mega Gengar are gone, pretty pixie destroys. I can live any one hit from Zygarde, and all the other Pokemon, and then just obliterate. I mean, I might not be able to live a uh, Poison Jab from Hariyama, um, but I don't really think he's going to bring Hariyama, but if he does, then uh, I'll be sure to calc it first, and even then, I'm probably going to outspeed anyways, unless he like decides to speed grip me. Um, but... Uh, Hyper Wish just says so much. Uh, if I have to bring Sylveon in before Mega Gengar is out, I... I'm definitely gonna click either Psy Shock or Shadow Ball. Um, then Psy Shock is. Why, why do I actually have. Oh no, okay. So, I don't know. Why do I have Psy Shock? Like, Shadow Ball just does. I don't know. Oh well. Uh, too late now. I'll fix it later, maybe. I don't know. Uh, and then Baton Pass to uh, swap out. If need be, that's another thing I can click uh, if Mega Gengar's still there. Or, like, when I predict the switch, I just don't know what he's going to switch into. Uh, that'll happen. Um, and then next up we have Shed Shell Fortress. Oh, boy. Like, literally... Okay, so the reason why I'm reading Shed Shell is because Fortress is Gengar fodder. Easy, like, I go out to Fortress, easy switch to uh, Mega Gengar. Like, and, and instead with the HP Fire. So I have to bring Shed Shell, um, and then Spikes because he doesn't really have any anything for hazards outside of Defog on Togekiss. So uh, I want to get both Spikes and Toxic Spikes up once I get rid of the Mega Gengar uh, Rapid Spin to get away uh, my own hazards, and then Gyro Ball because that's all I got. I was like my original plan was um, na not Nature Power, uh, na Nature Natural Gift. I think that's what it's called. Uh, for ice, but um, yeah, Zygarde just, uh, not Zygarde, but Mega Gengar being on his team means that I have to run Shed Shell instead, so uh, it makes Zygarde much more difficult. But our uh, Night Ninja, the Weavile, is our is gonna be the main mon this week. Last week was Kyogre, but Night Ninja has enough speed to outspeed every single one of his Pokemon, including Choice Scarf mons, because his fastest Pokemon is a cho is going to be Choice Scarf Electabuzz. Uh, so if that comes, I outspeed it. I outspeed everything. Uh, and I, uh, with Adamant Nature, if I can get some damage on that Mega Gengar, it dies to a Pursuit. Uh, so that's a great um, knockoff, he has, like, no switching from knockoff besides Magirna, um, and then I still, then I, at least I get rid of the Magirna's item, uh, but I do have a pretty decent, if I say so, Magirna swap in, but that'll come later, um, but yeah, that's Night Ninja, definitely gonna be the MVP this week, uh, we lose Night Ninja, we lose the game, pretty much, because Night Ninja comes in and revenges anything. Uh, next up, we have Blitzkrieg the Zapdos. Uh, U-turn for um, if I'm in against Zygarde, uh, like, or if I predict the Zygarde to come in and I still want to get the momentum. Uh, Thunderbolt, HP Ice for the Zygarde, and then Heat Wave uh, for if I'm not in the rain up against Magirna. Um, so I needed something to deal a lot of damage to that Alamomola outside of my Kyogre, which is also coming. 
uh, with the Thunder. Besides that, it's really up to Blitzkrieg to handle the Alamoa. Uh, Heat Wave also helps out with the Magirna, who's another a problem I have on the team, and then HP Ice again for the Zygarde. If I can get him low enough, I can take him out with HP Ice with the Expert Belt. Um, so yeah, that is the Zapdos. And then our Magirna answer and our uh, Mega Gengar answer is Tsunami, our specially defensive Kyogre. So um, basically, all my Pokemon, this, all my Pokemon besides Pretty Pixie can um, maybe have a chance of holding their own. Uh, Night Ninja uh, KOs. Um, Blitzkrieg, I can U-turn, and then the Pokemon afterwards Oko's it if it can li if it li it has a chance of speeding, but the rain has to be up, um, and then it kills it with Earthquake. But with Rusty, I needed something to swap into for the Gengar, and I also needed something for the um, Magirna. Originally, I was going to bring Chansey, but that's also Gengar food, so we have to bring Special Defensive Kyogre. It doesn't like he's that's it. Um, otherwise, I will just get blown back by Magirna. Magirna is really powerful. I can Thunder Wave it, and then um, it's really not doing a whole bunch because uh, unless it's timid, um, once it's Thunder, once it's Thunder Waved, Swampert will outspeed it in the rain. Um, it serves just as so much damage, and then Thunder for the Alamoa, Ice Beam for the Zygarde. Um, really just there to eat hits this week not to deal a whole bunch of damage but probably still punches huge holes into, t into his, uh, just everything anyways our next mon is arm day the mega swamper um no giratina this week uh because looking at his team giratina just doesn't really do a whole bunch uh gets blown back by zargard gets blown back by tojikis um i don't need to wall an hour more uxie or a ditto um like it gets blown back from the beginning, it gets blown back by Mega Gengar. Like, it can't burn the Hariyama because of, um, guts. So all it's there for is really the Electabuzz and have had on, so I decided it'd be better to just bring, uh, Mega Swampert. Um, and in the rain, Waterfall is doing a lot of damage. Ice Punch for, uh, if it's in against Zygarde, and then Earthquake for the Megirna and Mega Gengar, because Mega Gengar does not have Levitate, which is great, I'm glad, and neither does regular Gengar, that's what I meant to say. So if I predict the, I mean, why, who, who would switch, who in their right mind would switch Gengar into Mega Swampert? I don't know, what was my, oh, my original thought, okay. <laughs> Um, and then with Gengar not having Levitate, he can't, like, free switch in, and then Tojikus doesn't really want to take an Ice Punch or a Waterfall, and again, very limited hazard removal, so I have Stealth Rocks, uh, if I can get those up. But, uh, to be honest, I, like, I'm gonna give it my all, but this week is going to be super, super difficult. Like, we are battling tomorrow, and, uh, Zygarde scares me, man. Zygarde plus Mega Gengar, like, looking at my team, it just wrecks my team. And the only thing that can really uh, hold its own against Zygarde, I mean, Kyogre may do a little hit, but once Kyogre goes, gets too damaged, a Gigavolt Havoc from Magirna takes it out, and then Magirna wins again. Uh, so, uh, those three just dominate me, man. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully I can pull off the win, um, and keep our win streak going. But, uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you guys stay awesome. I know I will, and I will see you next time.